Imagine a car that never needs gas, never needs charging, and never runs out of power. Now imagine that car just got approved to drive legally on American roads. That's not a sci-fi headline anymore, it's reality. Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered car has officially achieved street legal status in the United States. And this single event might be the biggest disruption the automotive world has seen in over a century. Think about it. A vehicle that powers itself indefinitely, without plugging in, without burning a drop of fuel, now recognized by U.S. regulators as safe, compliant, and ready for the streets. The implications are absolutely massive. Today, we're breaking down exactly what this means, how this was even possible, and why every car company from Tesla to Toyota is suddenly paying attention. Because if Maxwell self-powered car really performs as claimed, the very foundation of the automotive industry is about to change. This isn't just another EV story. This is a story about freedom from the grid. Let's start from the top. The moment news broke that Maxwell's self-powered car had passed final inspection in California, the tech world froze. Social media exploded, analysts scrambled, and auto executives reportedly called emergency meetings overnight. Why? Because for decades, car makers have competed on one main limitation, range. Every year, EV companies boast about longer battery life, faster charging, or new lithium breakthroughs. But Maxwell's technology skips all of that entirely. There's no need to recharge because the car produces its own power as it drives. That's the end of range anxiety. It's also the beginning of what some are calling the automotive earthquake. The shock waves hit instantly. If a car can generate its own energy forever, what happens to fuel stations, charging networks, and battery manufacturers? They suddenly look like relics of a dying age. Even companies that build billion-dollar charging infrastructures could face existential threats overnight. And it's not just EV companies feeling the pressure. Traditional automakers like Ford, GM, and Honda are all dependent on complex supply chains for batteries, rare earth metals, and energy storage systems. But a self-powered car doesn't need lithium, cobalt, or nickel in large quantities. That could flip the economics of car production completely upside down. Let's break this down in real-world terms. Imagine you buy a car, and you never visit a fuel station again. You never plug it in, never pay for electricity, and your range isn't measured in miles per charge. It's infinite. You just drive. That's what Maxwell's vehicle promises. This is what many are calling the free car dream. A car with unlimited range, zero fuel costs, and virtually no emissions. It's the kind of advancement that can make owning a car cheaper than ever, while simultaneously cutting global energy consumption on a massive scale. So, how did Maxwell actually pull this off? To understand that, we need to go beyond the hype and look at the core of the technology. Maxwell's car uses a system he calls self-sustaining energy generation, powered by electromagnetic induction and radio frequency RF energy harvesting. In simple terms, the car captures and converts ambient electromagnetic energy into usable electricity, constantly feeding its own motor system. It's like a car that breathes energy from its environment instead of consuming fuel or draining batteries. It recharges itself while it moves, while parked, even while idle. The core breakthrough is in how efficiently the system converts straight energy into propulsion power. While earlier versions of similar concepts were too weak to drive a vehicle, Maxwell's engineering team developed high-frequency oscillators and ultra-efficient inverters capable of amplifying and stabilizing the harvested energy. The result? A stable, continuous power output that can sustain a car's entire drive system indefinitely. But that's not all. The materials inside the car's power module are reportedly made from advanced composites and nanostructure conductors, capable of minimizing heat loss and maximizing electron flow. That means less wasted energy, higher reliability, and near zero maintenance. In essence, Maxwell reinvented how we think about motion and energy balance. And when he brought this concept to the United States, regulators didn't know what to make of it first. The U.S. Department of Transportation and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reportedly spent months evaluating the vehicle under safety, emission, and performance tests. Because it doesn't fit into any traditional category. It's not electric in the battery sense, not combustion-based, and not hybrid. It's something entirely new. For months, Maxwell's team provided data, 
testing results, and technical breakdowns of the car's self-powering system. Eventually, the car passed every required safety test and was classified under a new experimental category for renewable drive vehicles. This classification made it the first self-powered car ever to be approved for public road use in the United States. Its official Maxwell self-powered car is street legal. That changes everything. Tesla, for example, has built its entire brand around battery innovation and charging infrastructure. Ford and GM are heavily invested in EV production lines, dependent on expensive battery imports. But Maxwell's technology eliminates those bottlenecks completely. There's no dependency on charging stations, no waiting time, and no fear of power outages. It's a closed-loop energy system on wheels. So naturally, the big question now is, how are traditional automakers responding? Behind the scenes, industry insiders suggest panic mixed with curiosity. Some legacy automakers have quietly begun reaching out to Maxwell's representatives, exploring licensing or collaboration opportunities. Others are reportedly lobbying for stricter classification standards to slow down the adoption curve. Because if this tech scales, the value of existing EV platforms could collapse almost overnight. Battery suppliers, mining companies, and charging startups could face massive losses. But there's another side to this. New winners could emerge too. Companies specializing in superconductive materials, RF energy components, and solid-state control systems could become the new titans of the industry. The supply chain would shift from rare earth mining to precision electronics manufacturing. That's a major geopolitical shakeup. Countries that relied on lithium exports might lose influence, while nations strong in semiconductor production could gain it. In short, the self-powered car is not just a technological disruption. It's an economic and political one, too. And beyond the factories and corporate boardrooms, the effects could ripple into everyday life in ways we're only beginning to imagine. Think about rideshare services like Uber or Lyft. Their biggest expense is energy, gas, or charging costs. A fleet of self-powered vehicles could operate 24-7 without ever stopping to refuel. That could drastically reduce ride prices, increase profit margins, and make sustainable transportation truly affordable for everyone. Delivery companies like Amazon, FedEx, and UPS could save billions in operational costs. Logistics would become cleaner, faster, and cheaper. The gig economy could get a new greener upgrade. But beyond the economics, there's a deeper story here, one about freedom. A self-powered car doesn't just save energy. It changes what mobility means entirely. You're no longer tethered to infrastructure. You could live off-grid, travel cross-country indefinitely, and never worry about running out of power. It's a level of independence humanity has never had in transportation, and cities might need to adapt too. Imagine urban planning when millions of vehicles don't need centralized fuel or power networks. Gas stations could vanish, replaced by parks, housing, or solar hubs. Charging lanes and battery swap facilities could become obsolete. Traffic management might shift the focus on data-driven mobility rather than refueling logistics. Entire industries that revolve around vehicle energy might fade into history. But of course, such freedom comes with new challenges. Regulators will need to decide how to handle taxation, since fuel taxes currently fund infrastructure like roads and bridges. If cars no longer consume fuel or electricity, how do governments collect revenue for maintenance? That's a huge policy question. Then there's grid stability. If millions of self-powered cars start feeding excess energy back into homes or local networks, which is technically possible, how do we prevent overloads or abuse? And of course, there's data privacy. These cars are likely equipped with smart systems to monitor power flow and diagnostics. Who owns that data? Who controls updates and safety patches? It's not just a technological shift. It's a societal one. Still, the potential benefits are hard to ignore. Less pollution, less dependence on fossil fuels, and potentially billions saved in global energy costs every year. Transportation will become one of the cleanest industries on Earth. And Maxwell's invention might just be the catalyst for that transformation. Let's take a step back for a second. A few years ago, many dismissed Maxwell Chikambutso as an eccentric inventor from Africa with bold claims and limited recognition. But now, 
The same man has created a car that's not just real. It's recognized by one of the toughest regulatory systems in the world. That's historic. It sends a powerful message about where innovation can come from. It doesn't always have to come from Silicon Valley, Germany, or Japan. Sometimes, world-changing ideas can come from places that the global tech elite overlooked. And that's exactly what's happening here. So what happens next? Maxwell's company is reportedly in talks with multiple U.S. cities to roll out pilot programs for government fleets. There are also rumors of early consumer editions being prepared for pre-order, though pricing details haven't been confirmed yet. If the rollout goes smoothly, we could see the first publicly available self-powered vehicles on American roads within a year. That means the next time you upgrade your car, you might be choosing between a charge-independent EV and a completely independent one. And that's a choice that could redefine the concept of car ownership. It could also spark a massive global shift in how we build, sell, and power everything with wheels. Because once self-powered cars go mainstream, the same technology could move into drones, boats, even aircraft. Imagine self-powered delivery drones flying endlessly, or marine vessels crossing oceans without refueling. That's the spillover effect we're heading toward. And it doesn't stop there. The same principle could power homes, remote devices, or even off-grid communities. In other words, this car might just be the beginning of a much larger revolution in self-sustaining energy technology. So how should you, as a consumer or investor, prepare for the Maxwell era? Early adopters are already lining up, hoping to be the first to own a self-powered vehicle. And history suggests they might be onto something big. When Tesla launched its first Roadster, it wasn't just a car. It was a proof of concept that redefined the EV market. Now Maxwell's car is doing the same, but on a much larger scale. The early adopters could benefit not just from lower running costs, but also from owning a piece of technological history. Because in a few years, owning a gasoline or plug-in car might feel like owning a horse and buggy in the age of jets. That's how fast this could move. The ultimate upgrade cycle has begun. And whether automakers like it or not, the shift has started. Consumers are now asking a new kind of question. Not how fast can it charge, but does it even need to? It's a paradigm shift in thinking. And those who adapt fastest will lead the next industrial wave. So as we stand at this inflection point, one thing is clear. The future of transportation isn't just electric. It's self-sustaining. Maxwell's self-powered car has proven that endless motion without external fuel is no longer a fantasy. It's legal, it's real, and it's here. And as this technology scales, the lines between science fiction and everyday life will blur completely. One day soon, we might look back at charging stations the same way we look at old telephone booths, symbols of the time before true mobility freedom. Maxwell's street-legal self-powered car marks that turning point and the automotive world will never be the same again.